This is going to be the health of Prince William. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So what's happened is a, a couple of viewers actually have asked about this, and that's why I'm making the video. So uh, Journeys into the Light and uh, Mima Rawlings have both uh, asked similar questions about Prince William's health, and so uh, that's what I'll tell you. But uh, what I can tell you also is that um, someone said, what happens uh, uh, if Prince William dies? Well, right now, if Prince William dies, nothing happens. Uh, no one will become king if Prince William dies right now. There's only one opening at the top, and it's currently occupied by Her Majesty the Queen. Now, when the Queen does go, then Charles becomes king. When Charles goes, then William becomes king. And when William goes, George becomes king. But if Prince William dies while Charles is still king, George becomes uh, king when Charles uh, goes. And that's just uh, how it uh, goes. And some folks are thinking that uh, Catherine, um, it, look, it feels to them as if Catherine may be uh, saddled with some sort of a burden in the future. And maybe this is what they're referring to. So I'll just tell you what the cards say. So this is the Crow Tarot by M.J. Cullinan, I suppose that's how that's pronounced. And uh, they come in a really nice, sturdy box. Um, if you got this as a gift, you feel like, you know, that was a nice gift. The uh, guidebook is pretty interesting. Uh, it has uh, good uh, suggestions out of how, how to use these cards for divination. And then right in the back here, it talks about the artist and the author of Crow Tarot. And it just says that Margot Jones, so that is MJ in the MJ Cullinan, is a Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crow. She attended Parsons School of Design, yet her unique te uh, technique of telling stories through digital collage is self-taught and has been her passion for over 10 years. And I don't know that's as of when. Um, nature and its creatures are a familiar theme in MJ's work. However, having grown up in the south of Boston, her collages are heavily influenced by the energy of the city. Her work often merges the two worlds. Her path into the world of tarot was a beautiful accident that came out of a difficult time in her life. The process of creating Crow Tarot helped her rediscover her own wings, though at the time she didn't realize how life-changing the project would become. She simply fell in love with the process, the messages, and the feeling uh, each card revoked. The Crow Tarot, MJ's first published deck, has achieved a significant following and recognition with crow lovers and the tarot community. When MJ is not making art or writing for her Crow Tarot blog, Hmm. She's spending time with her daughter River, playing in nature, practicing magic, and finding new sources of inspiration. So I love that, to don't know a little bit about the artist. And uh, like I say, the descriptions here are useful in the divination, especially when so much thought has gone into the cards. The, the cards themselves are just really amazing, and I love using these cards a lot. They've got a sort of a, an antique uh, kind of patina to the cards. I mean, it's not really a patina because it's fake. But you can see how each card has a little wornness about it that kind of makes them uh, fun to use. And they're beautiful cards. And, you know, what, the reason I do this is for those folks who don't get to see uh, full decks of tarot cards very often. At least this way you get a little preview of some of these cards. And uh, it's a nice way to uh, shuffle up the cards without damaging them. I like to keep my cards in good shape as long as I can. And um, so that is... The Crow Tarot. Okay, so this is going to be Prince William. Will he become ill? Is he safe? Prince William, will he become ill? And is he safe? And I think both of these questions are speaking to serious illness and serious safety. Okay, so Prince William, will he become ill? And is he going to be safe? But first, of course, let's look for a little protection. Okay. Prince William, will he become ill? For some reason, I feel like I'm ready. And will he be safe? I'm going to do six cards for each of those questions. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Prince William, will he become ill in a way that threatens uh, his standing for the monarchy? The signatory card on that is the Hermit. So the Hermit speaks to um, really uh, studying a situation, not making a move forward until you're sure that it's safe to go forward. Um, that would be an illness, as a matter of fact. Um, you know, you, you have to sit and recover until you're able to go ahead. So that's a possible uh, yes as a signifier. Uh, the challenge to that then with this Two of Cups, so it's interesting that this is, uh, uh, um, I forget the name of this thing, but it's a medical symbol. So the challenge to that Two of, uh, to this uh, Hermit uh, is this uh, Two of Cups, and it's uh, finding a partnership. Uh, this, for me, is gonna be medicines or treatment. The base of this reading is then this Knight of Cups. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is the member of the royal family who's going to take his charge and really fight for it. Okay, and the cup that he and what he's fighting for is a cup of compassion, emotion. The past of this reading, the way things were, of course it is. So silly. So the Six of Cups in the past is remembering the way things were and a better time. Um, so we've got the Hermit to begin with, which to me speaks of sickness, being isolated. Uh, the It's challenged by... Uh, some sort of a medical treatment. The base of this reading with this Knight of Cups is being strong uh, and compassionate, and then the past of this is remembering the way things were, and then in the sky of this reading with the Queen of Cups is really almost the ultimate in uh, compassion and passion, okay? So the Queen of Cups is a very strong uh, offering of, um, of, of getting this compassionately correct, and then the final outcome as to whether he will be seriously ill is the world card, which is the end of a cycle. And it's funny that this world card uh, has a crown here. This, uh, I don't like uh, what it implies, and uh, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to speak it out loud. Illness, medicine, uh, a lot of strength uh, of compassion, remember the way things were, the queen of cups in the sky, the queen of compassion, and then the uh, world, the end of a cycle, uh, featuring a crown in the middle. Those were the cards for will he become ill in a way that will threaten uh, his uh, role in the monarchy. So the uh, next question is, um, is he safe? Just generally, is he safe? And I think that speaks to more uh, than illness. I think that speaks to uh, bodily harm, okay? Some sort of uh, malice against Will is what I think that speaks to. So will Prince William be safe? Will Prince William be safe in six cards? One, two, wow, three, four, five, I'm gonna go right back over here, and six. Is Will going to be safe? Is Prince William going to be safe in six cards against Malice? Okay, so the uh, signifier card for this is the Ace of Wands. So the uh, this is a great big plan. Wands are actions, forward movement, and plans. And so there is a big plan in place. I feel like this is a plan of protection. I don't think this is. I don't feel like this is a plan of malice. So there's a big plan in place for protection. The challenge to that then is justice. So. Very interesting. This is pretty far up in the Major Arcana. It's halfway through the uh, Fool's Journey, practically. And so we have some sort of a balance or a karmic uh, justice. Interesting. The base of this reading, then, with this Knight of Cups, is funny that that repeats. So this Knight of Compassion is what's holding up all of this. The past of this reading uh, is, that again, this Queen of Cups repeated. Okay, in the past, this Queen of Cups. Uh, uh, that's a big offer of compassion. In the sky of this reading is the Star. Okay, the star is hope. And then the final card for uh, is he safe is um, five, six, seven, eight of cups having to walk away from something um, that uh, is very emotionally important to you. My goodness, these cards have not been good. Um, okay, so the question is, is Will safe? We get uh, as a uh, signifier for that, this great big ace of wands. There's a big plan in place to ensure that he is. It's challenged by some sort of a karmic uh, justice, okay? The base of this reading, his, his his this plan to keep him safe is being um, challenged by some sort of a karmic justice. 
And um, I, I think Will is a wonderful person. I can't see that he's done anything that uh, uh, would trigger karmic justice, but that's what the cards have here. Then the base of the reading is a repeat card in the same position uh, when we're talking about his, his health uh, is the Knight of Cups. This is the night he's going to fight for this uh, compassion. The past of this reading, which is a repeat card in a different position now, though, with this Queen of Cups, a great big offer of compassion. I feel like this is uh, uh, Catherine. And then the sky of this reading with the star card, it just says there's hope. Okay, so uh, I like that because we're talking about is he safe, and this gives us hope towards that. And then the final outcome for the whole thing, this eight uh, of cups, is typically having to walking away from something of very a lot of emotional importance to you, and um, what could be more important to him than the monarchy other than his family. So again, uh, viewers, I have to leave this up to you. It's it's just the aren't uh, neither of these have been pleasant draws uh, for this uh, reading. Well, like I always say, I just tell you what the cards are, are, are laid out in front of me. Of course, that's open to my interpretation, but I use pretty standard interpretations for the cards, and their depictions are what guide me through that. So I hope you agree with what I've said. And if you don't agree, let me know. Let me know what your uh, feelings are about this, because uh, those feelings are completely 100% valid. Who knows who's right? I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.